Alright guys, in this video, I'll be showing you guys how to animate the velocity or smoothness of your video clips to make a really cool cinematic video or montage. This effect is used by many talented editors and this one simple effort will upgrade your whole video to another level. It's a really cool technique to learn and will feel amazing after perfecting it. Now let's not waste any more time and let's get right into the tutorial. The best time of the year. Alright, so basically what you want to do is create a new composition once you open up After Effects. Go ahead and copy down my settings, 1920 by 1080 60 fps but if you want your videos to be more cinematic looking go ahead and lower it down to something like 24 but I'll be using 60 because I feel like it. Now what you want to do is make the duration around 10 seconds, make the background color to anything you like, and name it anything you like too. Now, I have my composition right here with my clips already ready. Alright, so before we start the video, I just want to give a quick disclaimer. Make sure you record your videos in a decently high FPS value or else this effect will not work. I recommend 120 or above, but it will vary with how you actually edit this effect to your needs. I have a video uploaded to my channel where I teach you guys how to record clips with a high FPS value, so make sure to check that out below. Now back to the video. Now, if you don't know how to cut your clips, just go ahead and select your clip and press Ctrl Shift D on your keyboard and you can cut them down just like so. Basically, what you want to do now is select both of your clips by doing this, just like drag them, and then right click on them, time, and then enable time remapping. Now, what you want to do is basically click the little diamond icon on every start and the end of your clip. Now, what you want to do is basically drag your time indicator to around the end of the clip while pressing shift so it snaps onto place, just like that. Now, what you want to do now is again, click the diamond icon and it should make another keyframe right here. And then again, go one frame after this so you're on your next clip by doing a uh, page down. And then you'll be on the next clip and then what you want to do is get again click the diamond icon and it'll be creating a new keyframe and then your last keyframe should be there but if it's not again just basically do the same thing click the diamond icon when you're there now once you got your keyframes like so all you want to do is select one of these two keyframes that's in the clip and then what you want to do is hit f9 on your keyboard and go to your graph editor by clicking this little button right here and then it should be looking something like this. Now if it doesn't look like this, basically what you want to do is select my uh, settings right here. Show graph editor set and show selected properties is checked. Uh, show layer markers and edit value graph is checked. And then these two uh, selections are selected. And then now what you want to do is basically fit all graphs to view. Just click this button and then it should be looking something like this. Now this is the best part. Basically what you want to do is move these yellow dots to something like this and then you want to do the same thing like this and then it should be looking something like this now click out of your graph editor and go back to the very first part of your clip now once you do that it should be looking something like this but in my opinion i don't really like it because it's just like one fast whoosh and then another fast whoosh at the end it's it's just it doesn't look smooth so go ahead and select your keyframes again and hit f9 on your keyboard once again and you always just want to play around to get your best settings one of my best settings or tips i'd say is basically you want to move your keyframe your yellow dot to around here you don't really want to stick stick it onto the very left or else it will just be one like one quick whoosh so you just want to do something like this and then the same thing with your right yellow dot and do something like that. Now it should be looking pretty good after this. Yeah, I think it looks really, really nice. Um, This is basically called uh, time remapping or velocity and it just makes your like speed of the clip really smooth and really nice and it matches like the song beats and it just looks really nice overall now you just want to do the exact same things to your other clips and basically what you want to do is while pressing space you just want to drag your mouse just like that go to the next clip select the keyframes hit f9 on your keyboard go to the graph editor and then do the same exact thing something like this i'd say you, sh you always just want to play around with it and again make sure your clips have pretty high fps or else it will look really choppy and weird 
Alright, so let's view the whole video, shall we? Yeah, I think it looks really, really nice. Uh, what do you guys think? Uh, let me know in the comments down below. This was pretty much it. Um, I really hope you guys enjoyed today's tutorial. I know it was pretty short, but I hope you guys learned something new. And make sure you use this effects in your montages or videos, and it will look way, way better. Uh, make sure to subscribe and like the video if you enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!